In today's video, we're going to put an umbrella on the bistro table. Putting together the base that was bought separately, we had to find one that was the right size that would actually go underneath the table. Got an umbrella that we really like the color of. It should go well with our sun sail. Hope you enjoy the video. You know, taking off the cap helps. Okay. Hey, hi. Okay, I don't plan on doing a lot for review videos and that kind of thing. This was supposed to be just a quick little blurb putting an umbrella up onto our onto our bistro table. It just happened to work out incredibly well. It's a seven and a half foot umbrella. It's uh, the base matches the table incredibly. The the umbrella is very strong, very nice. It's got a strap to hold it together so that when it's windy it doesn't get blown around. It's very strong, it's very steady, it's very stable. Uh, it when it slides in I, you know, I, when I originally saw it was just a slip fit here, I was a little concerned, but it doesn't come apart real easy. It's got a lock in it. It doesn't like to rotate. You have to actually make it rotate, and the tilt works exceptionally well. So basically what I'm telling you is, I'm doing a review. This is a very good umbrella from everything that I can see. It's very strong. It's very stable. Same thing with the, with the, the base. The base is good and heavy. It holds this umbrella up no problem. It's a very light table. It's cast aluminum. Uh, I'll put affiliate links to the umbrella, the base, and the table down below in the description. If you're interested in any of this stuff and you happen to buy it, if you click on my link, I get a little something for it. I very much appreciate it. Help to fray some of my time. So, I'm very impressed with this umbrella. Much more so than I thought it was. Oh, okay, we'll try that again. Much more so than I thought it was going to be. So I wanted to let you know that even though I generally won't be doing just like reviews, this is my review of this umbrella table. The cushions are separate from the chairs. I'm going to aim you down. Okay, this is the base the bistro table on the chairs. The base matches the bistro table better than it looks like in the video. Uh, I know that the, ba the base looks lighter than the bistro table in the video, but they're honestly, they're perfectly matched. They look like they're designed to go together. They might be. The cushions are separate from the chairs, uh, but it makes them very, very comfortable. Altogether, this is a fantastic setup for a bistro table. I don't need to explain to you how this all goes together. It's very simple but this is definitely far better than I was expecting for the price point. Same thing with the base, and the table has held up very well. It's been out here for a year now. The, the table and the cushions, which are separate, they've worked out very well. They look good, they're comfortable. It's very nice for a small seating area. Hey look, I put up an umbrella. Here we are taking the piece out of the box. Are we excited yet? I have no idea what this is gonna look like. There were three different pictures of it. However, it was one of the only ones that would actually fit between the legs on the bistro table. And that's not guaranteed. So we'll see what happens. Wow, okay, very well packaged, I will say that. Link to this will be in the, the description below. I don't know what all sleeves I'm going to need yet, so I'm just gonna keep all the sleeves together. This one goes all the way down, wow. That's, uh, that, that fits a pretty small umbrella. We'll see what happens. Okay, I admit it, that looks nice. Now, we do have instructions. I don't know what they're gonna tell me to do. Put peg A into hole B and secure. Oh, very, very good instructions. They don't over explain. They hide the threaded knob inside. Huh. There is also a, basically a cup in the bottom that should center up your umbrella in the bottom of that, so that's pretty nice. We'll take and put all of the assorted sleeves back in place for the different size umbrellas. This is going to go there. Uh, 
Remember, flat washer furthest from the nut, the spring washer or lock washer closest to the nut, and then tighten everything down. You don't need to see me tighten a nut. I assume you've probably seen or done it yourself. The locking apparatus has a piece of plastic inside that it pushes against when you tighten it down so it won't do damage to your umbrella's pole. It's got a cup in the bottom to hold it centered. It's got that piece of plastic. I think this is the nicest base I have ever seen. I'm kidding. This is a very, very nice base. It's very inexpensive. Now, as long as it fits underneath the table and in between the legs, we'll be good to go for putting that umbrella up. Here's our completed base. And that looks like a really good spot for it. And oh boy, that is a perfect fit. The table and the base are pretty much a perfect match. I have room to get to the tightening screw to hold the pole of the umbrella in place. I don't have to do any modifications at all. Very, very nice little fit. So, next up, installing the umbrella. Okay, well, <laughs> installing the pole only took taking out one bushing out of the base and putting it in, tightening it up with the thumb screw. It's nice and secure, good and solid, doesn't move at all. I think it'll work well. Okay, it's time to put on the umbrella. Looks like it's just a slip fit. There we go. Just slides in there nice. You can spin it around and crank it up. Cranks very nice and easy, very smooth. Nice lock. Yeah. I think that'll work. He leans both directions yep so no matter where the Sun is you can block it when you want to during the day it's big enough for the bistro table but it's not too big I think it'll work out really well we'll see what the designer thinks if you made it to the end thank you for watching uh, it wasn't a big project but you know I'm just doing stuff if you like what I do feel free to give me a like it really helps me out if you want to see more of what I do, you can hit subscribe. You can follow me. That'd be fantastic. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. I'm hoping to turn this into something. I'm going to be doing a lot more projects, including another Pavers on Dry Pour that's going to be leading up to the seating area here. That's coming up very soon. It'll probably be across a couple of videos because I have so many projects going on. I can't concentrate on just one at a time.